Hey everyone, Delve here. Today I'm doing a viewer's request. They asked if there was a way to quickly and consistently unlock Holy Mantle and Eternal D6 on the Lost. The good news is he starts with the Eternal D6 even if you haven't unlocked the Eternal D6 itself. But unlocking the Holy Mantle requires that you donate 879 coins to the Greed Mode Donation Machine. The main reason to grind out the Greed Mode Donation Machine is because there's no point in doing Greed Mode unlocks on most characters until you've unlocked Greedier Mode which unlocks at 500 coins. This is because any character you beat Greed Mode with, you will also have to beat Greedier Mode with as well. That and the Greed Mode Donation Machine unlocks are pretty good across the board. Now, Greed Mode can be surprisingly tricky, and it mostly comes down to how difficult it is to get the ball rolling. Most runs you start with a single boss room item, and ideally, you'd clean out the waves as they spawn. Furthermore, your main goal obviously is not only to consistently survive, but also to accumulate coins you can put into the Donation Machine. I've tried several characters, and easily the strongest character in Greed Mode is Azazel, and he's also quite easy to unlock. The sheer strength of his start is so high, it basically doesn't matter how short his range is, and it seems like range increasing items are more common in Greed Mode anyway. The next character is Lilith. Box of Friends is just super powerful in Greed Mode, and you should be able to melt waves and bosses with your firepower. You only get one use of Box of Friends on Ultra Greed, but you should be able to just accumulate enough damage and health that it doesn't really matter. An important thing to note here is that Lilith's unlocks for beating Greedier Mode is very useful. It's an item called Duality that lets you choose between Devil Deals and Angel Rooms. The character that ended up being surprisingly effective was Samson, a character I tend to overlook. Since there is always a Curse Room in Greed Mode, you can take 4 hits right off the bat to boost your damage. Not as strong as the other two characters, but a consistent enough start to make it noteworthy. Note that Samson's Greed Mode unlock is also quite good. It gives you damage for every enemy you kill in any given room. With these three characters, you should be able to accumulate enough damage to beat Ultra Greed while having around 99 coins stored up to spend on the donation machine. Up until you unlock Greedier Mode at 500 coins, you'll probably want to switch between these three characters to keep the chance of the machine jamming low. Once you've unlocked Greedier Mode, you can spam whichever character you like or just do the unlocks on all the characters like normal. There are definitely other characters that are decently strong and consistent in Greed Mode, but these three are by far the easiest to unlock. One final tip is to spend your coins early in the run to make sure you are getting stronger and not just hoarding them. There's really no point in hoarding coins until about womb or later. Anyway, I hope this helps you finish the greed mode donation machine, since it's really not actually a bad set of unlocks to focus on, as long as you understand which characters can overpower greed mode. Thanks for watching.